Here it is boys, the ultimate Halo Mega Block set. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. We're taking a look at the one, the only, UNSC Elephant. Really just the pinnacle of Halo Mega Bloks collecting. Before they went into Mega Constructs, before they went into Signature Builds, you couldn't get anything better than this. And a lot of people will argue online that this is the first Signature Build. Before the Forward Unto Dawn and the Mammoth and everything else came the Elephant. This thing is a beast, man, like an absolute beast. Six figures, one Covertops Mongoose, and the UNSC Elephant in all of its glory with accessories. We're gonna start by taking a look at the figures because this one in particular, this has caught the eye of many collectors over the years. This is the Black Recon. And as you know, Recon is one of the most legendary armor sets in Halo. It probably is the most legendary because back in the day, it was the ultimate. If you had Recon, you were a god, or you had Flaming Helmet, you were definitely a god. You were, you were beyond mortal. The Recon was, it was just the most unobtainable armor set in Halo. So everybody wanted it. You had to ask Bungie, like Bungie had to specifically give you Recon, and then eventually you had to do crazy Vidmaster challenges. And this, it just shows like Mega knew that Recon was the most important uh, Halo 3 spot. So they knew that they had to make this uh, Recon for this special set. And they spared no expense, giving him a beautiful gold visor. There's not been many figures that have a silver undersuit, but this one does. You can tell how much this figure meant to Mega, because at the 10 year anniversary of Halo Mega Blocks, in the blind bags, you could get a black recon in new articulation. And that blind bag series was meant to be a dedication and a celebration to all that had come before. So they must really love this recon. And he also comes with not only a flamethrower, but the shark fin flamethrower. And we've had this a few times afterwards and even slightly remolded with an open nozzle for the Halo Heroes Series 5 Master Chief. But this was just such a celebration when it came out. Like honestly, five Marines and a recon? Crazy. We actually had two of the same Marine in this set, which is quite interesting. I thought when I first unboxed this, I was like, Are you, were there really two of the same? Yeah, there were. That blue eyepiece is really great, uh, giving a nod to the Halo Reach eyepiece. And it's just, a, it's kind of a mix match of everything. I think these are kind of Halo 3 Marines, you know, based on the green, but they're, they're kind of a bit of everything. Those two look great, and those brown highlights on their chests are really good. We got a basic Marine with a Magnum. Pretty funny that this is like the original 2010 Marine and he's still chilling in the set. Just shows how far they've come. Two different Marines as well. One has the standard Marine chest plate, but with a new helmet with eyepiece. You can also see we have a variety of skin tones with these Marines, which I always love to see. So six figures looking fantastic and then this, oh no. So six figures looking fantastic and this mongoose. A beautiful covert ops goose and <laughs> goose. <laughs> It actually had a couple of upgrades uh, since the original release of the Mongoose uh, with the Mongoose versus uh, Elite. A couple of different changes, particularly just smoothed off edges, make it a, a much more streamlined vehicle and a dark black visor just matches the whole aesthetic of this mongoose. Then the red stickers on the back, the lights are a little bit uh, janky, but they're, they're okay. The hazard strip and these two stickers really make it stand out. It's a gorgeous mongoose. One of my absolute favorites, probably my favorite mongoose. I love anything Covert Ops. I love Covert Ops, Arctic, Red, whatever you want, just uh, as long as it's not standard green. I mean, I like standard green, but Covert Ops is a lot more fun and it just works perfectly. It's not usual that you have a vehicle that matches the exact colors of a character. But these two work hand in hand. And look at them. A lot of the Covert Ops line did. And I think this was probably Mega's first experiment with Covert Ops uh, vehicles. Well, this is not a Covert Ops vehicle, but the Mongoose specifically. Now, this is going to be difficult to even get all this in frame. It's such a behemoth. Look at that. Absolutely massive. So inside is a full interior that you can put your mongoose in. And yes, I haven't even mentioned yet. This is a review that's coming out before the new elephant. Like we're finally getting a new elephant. We got one additional elephant, like a Halo 4, 5 reach kind of elephant. But this is uh, the original green and we're going back to the original green. Looking on the top, there is a nice mix of stickers and printed decals on this. This one, for example, is a printed decal. And this one that runs across the top is a sticker, which you would kind of have to have a sticker because it runs across so many bricks. Some of the stickers, you know, because uh, when they're running across multiple bricks, when you have to rebuild the set, they don't reapply as well, which is uh, not as good. But look at this. This marine piece is fully printed and looks fantastic because of it. This would, th it clearly looks a 
lot better because it's printed. The Caterpillar tracks are very prone to snapping. I've had a lot snap in my time, but these ones are keeping together pretty nicely. I bought this second hand off a guy, but it is 100% complete. Right around the outside are these nice little holsters. I don't know why you would put your backpack up there. That seems like a bit of a weird choice, but yeah, they uh, sort of lock in any kind of accessory. We've also got gasoline tanks, an axe, pickaxe, a spade, just all the stuff you might need when you're in the desert <laughs> to dig yourself out. Also, these little soft plastic tracks run along the outside. These holes are all filled with interesting things. We've also got two chain guns, one, on the left and one on the right, just like they are in Halo 3. This is actually like a pretty dedicated, pretty accurate representation of a Halo 3 elephant. We've got the crane running around the side. I'll get to that in a second. These massive pieces on the back. I'm really excited to compare this set to the new 2022 elephant eventually. They're massive pieces. These are all stickers, so obviously they look a little bit different on each one. I'd rather they were printed detailing, but that is a minor thing. And a lot more stickers give the idea of uh, exhaust ports on the side. Flipping it round, we can see in there is a lovely terminal. This was always one of my favorite parts of this set, showing a little map of Sand Trap, I believe. And inside is where the mongoose can be holstered quite nicely. There's a ramp where you would usually run up to back smack whoever's driving the elephant. There's a couple of fusion coils and crates. The crates used to hold any accessories, any extra weapons. These lights move up and down, which is a nice feature. Just going around and highlighting everything, I feel like really, because there's so much to offer here. Some more lights on the back, red translucent studs. And on this side, we've got another spade, pickaxe and axe. Then we got to talk about this crane. What a beast. Look at this. Just pulls, well, extends out all the way. And these are all printed detailings, the caution and these hazard strips all printed. And then this also extends down. You can attach pretty much anything to there. Obviously you can attach your mongoose. UNSC E2073 service stickers. It just gives it so much of a feel, doesn't it? It just, it, it feels exceptional, this set. And also the chain gun has been uh, not reimagined, but actually colored. It's probably the first chain gun where we've had several different colors running around it. And it really works nicely, especially that chain for the drum, just uh, really nice. Onto the front. We have a couple more things, a gasoline tank and backpack at the front, and then these nice little uh, attachment pieces and movable lights. The elephant is just an absolute beast, man. And I'm so happy that I got one to be able to just show off to you guys. My thoughts and opinions, outstanding. Like this is clearly the first proper signature build we've ever got. The greens and grays, it's simple colors, but they work so well. And the injection molding in these green pieces means that every piece is different. Nothing's the same. It feels so alive. I absolutely love this set. And when I first got it, I just, I was in complete awe. I'd never built anything close to this big in my life. And to have five, six figures, yeah, five Marines with a uh, mongoose and recon as well was just such an incredible, incredible thing. It just, it, it, it transcends. <laughs> it, tran it transcends human understanding. Now, it is a beautiful set. Let me know in the comments down below if you've managed to score this before. It certainly isn't the first time I built one of these. I've built about five or six in my life, and I hope it won't be the last. My love for this elephant uh, will never die. I love you, elephant. This is my love letter to the UNSC elephant, and I cannot wait to see how Mega have innovated in the last, like, they've done it another, like, 10 years after this. They're bringing out another elephant and it comes with Hood, the Chief, Johnson, Cortana. It's gonna be probably one of the most legendary sets ever made. Um, yeah, I'm so in admiration of this. And also all of these uh, grids inside that give it uh, a really authentic military feel. The control panel inside where uh, you would just, you would stand there and just say, please, no one back smack me. Oh, um, what have I, what have I got to give a shout out to? Oh yeah, shout out to the big green tractor. If you know, you know. If you understand that joke, comment down below saying, I'm gonna take a ride in my big green tractor. We will ride off into the sunset in our big green tractor. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain and a really nostalgic one at that. I wanna thank all of your support on this series, my nostalgia series. I really have enjoyed it so far. And just a big shout out to my patrons. For $3 or more, you can donate every month and help the continuation of this beautiful channel. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the elephant, the big green tractor, is signing off. <laughs>